Wall of Nation match number 69 underway, and the Sandstorm along with it. A quick move right off the bat by the Green Hills lawnmowers. They place a hatch panel on the forward bay of their Red Alliance cargo ship. Over on the Blue Alliance, we're also seeing an impressive Sandstorm period from XO out of Israel. They're able to make it back to their loading station to grab hold of a hatch panel, which they place within the first few seconds of the teleoperated period. Early on, Red Alliance with a three-point advantage, but they're already starting to build that advantage. Trying to prevent that from happening, though, we do have Ironclad out of Bradley, Illinois, trying to play as a blocker bot around Theory 6 from Canada. Theory 6 able to scoot by and get cargo into the cargo ship, but Ironclad still working to get in the way, playing interference to make things take just a little bit longer for Theory 6. The Red Alliance, they also are trying to play some defense of their own. We've got the Green Hills lawnmowers now trying to play some defense against Copperhead Robotics. They're pushing Copperhead Robotics to the side. Despite that defense, Copperhead still able to place a hatch panel on the upper level of that Blue Alliance rocket. They hold tough despite the defense. T minus 72 seconds remaining in our match. One point separating our two alliances with Red in the lead. Red Alliance focusing on loading cargo into the ship midfield, but not much space left. All eight hatch panels in place and only two cargo bays missing cargo pods in that midfield ship. Red Alliance will need to shift to rockets if they want to keep earning points. T minus 45, Copperhead Robotics now starting to deploy cargo for the first time this match. We had seen them placing hatch panels on their rocket but they're now grabbing cargo from the depot near the Blue Alliance Hab Zone and bringing it midfield. That sound right there indicating just 10 seconds remaining until the end game begins. The Red Alliance, the fighting Robo Vikings coming in with cargo and they load that cargo into the last remaining open bay of the Red Alliance cargo ship. In the end game, we've got lifting robots making its way up to the Blue Alliance. We have Copperhead Robotics. They make it to level three, fighting Robo Vikings up for the Red Alliance. Both alliances also trying to get one robot on level two, and it does look like they may have been successful. If those two level two climbs work for both alliances, that would be a combined to 79. The Red Alliance wins by just one point and takes home three ranking points, setting all three alliance members up in our rankings. The Blue Alliance will not go home empty-handed. They do earn the docking ranking points. However, that will not prevent the...